Hey, what's up guys? DNA Line, I'm back with another CSR2 video. Today we're checking out the McLaren 600 LT. We're going to do a stage 5 shift and tune, a stage 6 maxed out shift and tune, and we're going to do a review on this car so you can find out how to drive it and if it's any good. Let's get to the maxed out stage 6 shift and tune. When this car is 100% maxed out, nitrous all the way to the right, final drive 2.81, tire pressure 8 psi, that gives us a 7.827 on the dyno time. To drive this car, let go of the gas a little bit after number one, instantly shift into the second, then you're kind of go, kind of going to go like third, fourth, fifth gear right around 6,000 RPMs, and then hit your nitrous. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, fifth and nitrous, sixth, seventh. And that's about how you want to do it right there. And that should give us a pretty darn good run, I would hope. So let's see what we got. We got a ah, 7.667. That's a very good time. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this on stage five. All right, so when you have all the stage five parts installed and all the fusions, we're going to keep the same tune as we did on stage six, which is rare, but nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive, 2.81, tire pressure, 8 PSI. That puts us as a 10.011 on the dyno time. And we're going to drive it the exact same way. Let go of the gas a little bit after number one. Instantly, in the sh instantly shift in the second, third, fourth, nitrous on fifth, guys. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Second, third, fourth, fifth and nitrous. Sixth gear, seventh gear, coming up right about there. And that's all she wrote. The car should beat the dyno time by a little bit. So there we got a 9.898. The last one was 9.879. So yeah, that's how we do it on stage five and stage six. All right, so let's review this thing, guys. We got decent top speed of 362 miles per hour. Not great, but not too bad. Acceleration, 0 to 60 in like 0 0.9, 0 to 100 in about 1.5. So it's got decent top speed and decent acceleration. It will beat the dyno time by a little bit. Nothing too special. It's not going to have any type of special live racing setup. So it's probably not going to be the world's li best live racing car, but... In my opinion, the car is decent. It's not great. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just an okay car. You know, if you don't have a good tier 5 car, this may be worth leveling up if you got parts to put on it. But it's not something I would really care too much about leveling up or not unless you need it for an event or, you know, something like that. There's way better cars in the game than this. This one's just kind of an okay car. It looks nice, it's somewhat fast, I like it, I don't love it, but yeah, it's going to set and collect dust until I need it again. I just ran it with, with a prestige cup, and I probably won't drive it again until it's used for some other type of event. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I try to keep you guys informed, show you how to drive the different cars, keep you up to date, give you my thoughts and opinions on different events and things and stuff like that. So I try to help you guys out, so help me out, hit that like, hit that subscribe, I would appreciate that big time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to find my other YouTube channels and my Discord server, plus some ways to help support the channel, some game news, some info, just drop down the video's description. My merch store is in there, plus all kinds of other stuff. If you need some lighting, microphones, camera gear for podcasting, YouTube creation, whatever, we got some links down there for some really awesome stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. And huge shout out to my channel members. Thank you so much. Your extra support really helps the channel, so if you want to become one, hit the join button. Alright, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. See ya. Hope you liked the video.